Ron Wasik here again, the Polish Pickle. I just watched a video on YouTube about a trap for your tip up or for your ice fishing rod that uh, really intrigued me on how he made it and how it worked. The problem was you couldn't see what he was doing. I'll give you his name in a second if you want to go to his video. He has 900 some subscribers and I really respect that. I don't have that many but I'm working on it. What I want to show today is what he failed to show because he didn't film it right. Uh, his camcorder was aimed the wrong way and you couldn't see how he was bending this stuff and at times you could just barely see the finished product. Well I'm going to take you through bending it again this time with a lot better filming and I'm going to show you the end result and how it works. Uh, he also did that, but again, his camcorder was improperly set. It was very hard to hear him, and it, it caused me to want to do my own video. So, stand by. I'm going to give you his name, so you can look at it on YouTube if you want to. Give him another like if you want to. And check this out. See if it doesn't help you while ice fishing. Okay folks, to get started, I'm going to show you the finished product. So all it is, is a piece of bent coat hanger with hooks on it, a little catch on the end. He wants you to use a piece of welding rod, which is also good, but I found the steel in a coat hanger works much, much better. There's the finished product. Now let's get on to making it. Okay, as I get started here, I'll give you his name and his YouTube website. His name is Garnet M. He has it under making an automatic snap trap title and like I said, go to it and check his out. I'm going to show you how to make one, and I hope you can see mine clearer. First of all, you can see I made my first one out of a piece of coat hanger, and I'm going to do the same thing. I cut myself a good 5-inch piece of coat hanger. This gives me something to work with. First thing I like to do is straighten out all the bends that were in it and make it a nice straight rod or close to it. All right, have a nice. Now, Garnet says, Mr. Garnet says to use welding rod which is just as good, but I think it's a little bit thicker. This is steel coat hanger, and there's a million of them around. Um, you would start, as he did, with making an S loop at the end. Now approximately an inch down from that, you want to make a second part of your S loop. Now you can see where this is going to where I've made the end piece. See, I'm almost doing what he's doing. I've almost made the end piece about where I want it to be. The rest is just going to be shaping. Now, approximately three to four inches down, you want to bend this away from the loop. This is going to become your second loop, but it's going to be turned the other way. Better if you go at a good 90 degree angle and then make a loop on the side. This side loop will come up like so. You've got extra line there, you've got extra steel there. Take it off. This is not critical. You do have a sharp edge right on the end. 
that sharp edge you can file off, grind off, whatever you need. This end here is where I personally used a steel leader. This steel leader is one of the thin ones. It's probably a very light steel leader made for walleye. I use this steel leader. Oops, I'm sorry. Let's look at these loops. That loop is where the line would lay over, so it's not critical. The other loop is the one that would sit in the tip of the fishing rod. Now I'm going to open my end up just a little bit to get this line out to show you now how I make the stand. The stand is located with the rod and just a piece of wood with a hole drilled in it. And of course this wood is then screwed to the base. The base is long enough so that the tip of the rod would line up out over the end of the wood that's where this little piece of metal comes into play. Now we'll take the one that I've already made we'll get my steel cable and we'll loop it into the end and close it. Now the only reason we're closing that is so that it doesn't slip back out again. This end of the steel cable, and as you can see on the end of my wood, I have a little eyelet. I use a little eyelet. Instead of screwing it into the base like he did, and then again closing the eyelet so the cable won't fall out. Now I'm going to have to back you up a little bit so I can show the rest of this. Okay, as the rod tip would be put into the water and set properly, bringing the rod tip down, this hooks into the end eyelet. Now again, I know I went on a frame, so I'm going to have to show this to you. There it is stuck into the end. And the end of your line would lie through the end of the loop that wasn't so critical. I hope you can see it. As a fish would pull, which I have a little weight, as a fish would pull, <laughs> very, very, very fine set. You can set it at what you want to. It's very easy to set. You bring it up, hook your rod, lay your line over it, and it's set. It's that simple. It's that easy. It's that fast. As a fish pulls down, as a fish pulls down on this, you see it pulls the little lever located right there out of the eyelet and the rod sets the hook by itself. Again, last time, slip the eye in it, put your line back into the hole with the weight on it, and as a fish would pull, just barely pull on this line, it automatically sets it. Now I'm going to back the camera up one time 
to show you the whole action. Setting it is easy. Putting the line on it, just as easy. All that fish has to do is pull just a little bit. All depends how light you have it set, how you bend it, and it sets it off. The line goes up and it's set. That's my take on what he did. I got the idea from him. I'm not going to try to hide it. Very happy with it. Very easy to make. All you need is a piece of wood. About as long as the rod. Piece of coat hanger, a little bit of steel cable, maybe an eyelet or two like I have. And you have yourself a fishing trap. Okay, that's it for today's film. Short one, quick one. Hope somebody learned something. I hope you could see mine a little bit better than his. It's exactly the same thing he did, only it's in the camera frame better. Stay strong. Be patient out there in the ice especially. And trust your journey. You'll get home. Thank you.